first of all we have to draw the function and then mark all the integer on the y axis. Now draw horizontal lines from these points. And now from these points draw vertical dotted lines facing downward. Finally draw these horizontal line segment. Let's understand with an example. Now draw this function. If you don't know how to draw this function then watch the previous video. Link in the description. Now mark all the integer on the y axis and draw horizontal lines from these points. Now draw vertical dotted lines facing downward and finally draw these horizontal line segments. What will happen when these bracket coincide? Let's find out. When this happen, then mark all the integer on the x axis and draw vertical lines till they intersect the graph. Now draw these horizontal line segment from the point to its right hand side and we got our required graph. Let's take an example. Now draw f of x and draw vertical lines from integer points on x axis. Now draw horizontal line segments toward the right from the point where these vertical lines intersect our graph. And we got our answer. Now what if we combine both of them? So in this case, first we draw f of x, then transform it to f of greater integer x and then transform it to greater integer f of greater integer x. For example, when y equal to this, then first draw sin x, then transform it to sin of greater integer x and finally transform it to this. Now let's learn how to draw this. For this, we check only the points for which f of x is an integer. Now draw one unit line segment towards the upper end. For example, let's draw this function. As you know that the graph for this function is this. Now mark all the points for which f of x is an integer and draw these one unit line segment. And this is our graph for this function. Drawing the ceiling function or drawing the floor function is the same thing. When we draw floor function, we draw vertical dotted lines facing downward. But for ceiling function, we draw vertical dotted line facing upward. And then we draw these horizontal line segments. For example, when y equal to sine of greater integer x, in this question, we replace floor function with ceiling function. Then the graph of this function is when we draw this function we draw these horizontal line segments from the point to its right hand side but when we replace the floor function with the ceiling function then we draw horizontal line segments from the point to its left hand side and finally we draw this function we draw one unit line segments toward the upper end but for ceiling function we draw these segments in the opposite direction as you can see in this example. To draw the graph of this function we must first draw f of x and now select the f of x found between 0 and 1 and then Repeat it for all the remaining points. For example, when y equal to e raised to power x by e raised to power greater integer x, which is equal to e raised to power fractional part of x. Now draw e raised to power x and select the graph of e raised to power x formed between 0 and 1. Now repeat it for all the remaining points. Let's take another example. Modulus of y is equal to this. Now draw y and select the graph form between 0 and 1 and then repeat it for all the remaining points. Now just draw it for modulus y. If you don't know how to draw modulus function then watch the previous video. Link in the description.
two horizontal lines for all integer values of y and then draw the vertical lines from the point at which these horizontal lines will cut the graph now shift all the parts between y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 for example when y equal to fractional part of sin x then draw sin x and draw horizontal lines for all integer value of y and then draw vertical lines from the intersection of horizontal lines and the graph and then shift all the parts between y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 to draw such a function we have to follow two step first draw this and then draw this now to draw this function first draw f of x and then draw two lines y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 only the graph between y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 is our final graph neglect the remaining portion for example directional part of y equal to x minus 1 whole square then the graph of this function is in the next video we are going to learn about how to trace a conic So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you never miss this beautiful animated course.